For years I've been frustrated with traditional crimping tools. First you've got to fumble around putting the plastic insert back in, then work out what orientation to put the connector on, fumble around some more as the connector keeps on slipping, try to keep the cable straight, press uncomfortably hard and pray. And it rarely comes out straight. So I decided to do something about this. The Cable Monster Model 1610 is a device for making power cables for modular synthesizers such as the Eurorack format. Featuring a compact and lightweight form factor, the Cable Monster is 3D printed in durable PETG and ABS. Using standard crimp connectors and ribbon cable, it's easy to make high quality power cables a variety of different lengths and styles. The Cable Monster is a simple tool that's easy to use. So let's take a look at the Cable Monster in action. We start by threading the ribbon cable through the left lever, lining up the red trace on the ribbon cable with the orange line in the central guide slot. Now grab a 16-way connector and thread it onto the ribbon cable. The hole for the connector is keyed so it can only go in one way. Use this as a guide for the correct orientation. Now feed the cable along the slot until you hit the backstop. Thread on the 10-way connector using the receiving hole as a guide for the correct orientation, just like before. Now close the right lever and press down firmly until you hear the little click as the connector snaps into place. To set the cable length, use the integrated ruler. Feed out more cable until you reach the desired length, but not in this case, as we're making a standard cable of 170 millimeters. Now close the left lever and press down firmly. As before, Listen out for that click sound. Remove the cable and check that it's correctly crimped. If it doesn't fully snap in the first time, just reinsert the connector and try again with a bit more force. With a regular pair of scissors, cut the excess ribbon cable. Congratulations, you've just made your first power cable. But we're not quite done yet. Let's make it a bit nicer. Using a pair of side cutters, cut away the excess ribbon cable. This is completely optional, but it makes for a nice professional looking cable. There, one 17 centimetre Eurorack power cable. Some people prefer a cable with a strain relief. Adding a strain relief with the Cable Monster is easy. Simply reinsert the connector and feed the cable underneath the handle. While pulling the ribbon cable taut with the left hand, insert the strain relief, which snaps into place. 